Hey, 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 welcome back into part two or the extended version of today's Oracle reading. Okay, if it resonated with you, thank you for clicking back in uh, for you. Okay, um, now let's go ahead and start with the let's start with the divine lineage. Okay, with um, the queen, I'm sorry, the Sarah Lakali, which was angel number six. Okay. I'll be having so much stuff everywhere. I can't get to what I'm trying to get to over here. Bear with me for just a second. Sorry for the table shake. So six is the energy of the lover's card, which is Gemini energy. Okay, Gemini. I would say Sagittarius because if you bring in Gemini, you bring in Sag as well. So we're going to go ahead and say Gemini Sagittarius energy. Okay, and that number is six. The angel number six actually um, represents contentment, harmony, and community. Ooh, so that's some good energy right there. So Sarah LaKali, she actually um, says that your ancestors protect the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is you, collective. It says, divine ones walk beside you and within you. Trust. So we're needing to have trust at this time. The goddess declaration says, I am my sister and my sister is me. Okay. So you're realizing and waking up to your connection to the entire universe, to people that source sense to you. You can probably sense, see yourself in um, everyone that spirit is sending your way at this time. Okay. And it's allowing you to have a very open heart, a very open spirit. Okay. Um, we want to be sure with, uh, the horse spirit here that we're focusing on our self-expression, our development so that we can reap benefits. Okay. Of that said development and self-expression, because at the end of the day, when we're working on ourselves, the person and people that benefit are us and our family members, our friends, those that we are in close connection and contact with on a frequent level right so um with the eagle spirit spirit is saying that spirit invites you onto her back and you dwindle inside so that you can climb on you hold on to the down beneath let me just hold her up here okay you hold up to the down beneath her feathers as she soars higher and higher the forest looks smaller and smaller yet you can see so clearly as you ascend above the clouds you have never felt so free the eagle spirit it says um the spirit of the eagle says this is the time to express yourself don't hold back. Choose life on your terms. Don't be trapped by the expectations of others. Which confirms what we were saying in the first part of the reading. If you did click on and watch the first part of the reading, you were able to see that spirit right now is asking you to, is to, to stand I feel in a very independent space because you are shining the light right now. You are in a very nurturing, divine, mothering energy. You are abundance and love itself. You are the light itself. You represent the sword of truth itself. And now what you're doing is you're drawing in people that may um, have resonated in a dark space. But what you're doing is you're able to transmute the energy with alchemy here. Okay. You have aligned in a particular way where you're able to be able to draw in abundance, blessings things miracles for yourself okay unexpected favor all right so um spirit also wants you to focus on going after your goals at this time but let's take it back that's why we're needing to have a spirit of freedom an eagle spirit the eagle flies high and they fly alone okay this is needed because you're not needing to be weighed down the eagle doesn't have the spirit of codependency the eagle is is completely um stable and confident on their own flying alone okay now we know that you've done a lot of cleansing work and a lot of clearing to get to this point to be comfortable and confident to stand fully on your own to be proud to not need anyone not in an arrogant way but from a place of humbleness because you realize your source you realize that you tune and tap in directly to source there's no new no need okay for anyone um, or any type of distractions okay 
codependent see let's move into the high priest deck or the priestess deck okay and let's see what the divine mother is saying with angel number 37 representing nurturing compassion grace all right surrounded by the golden light of purity and creative power this beauty symbol of eternal maternity brings the energy of care and compassion to your life whatever gender we identify as there is a divine mother in each of us it lives in the eternal light that feeds us and nurtures the world around or through us it lives in our choices and our tenderness and our and our loving energy First, this card reminds you to prioritize your own self-care. Wow. <laughs> In fact, it's time to become your own loving mother. If you've been dismissing something related to your own needs or preferences, muster up the courage to nurture and prioritize yourself. It's never dishonoring to others when you truly honor yourself. There may be someone who needs some care and compassion from you as well. Open your heart to the opportunity, but remember to strike a balance between the energy you give others and the energy you give yourself. Your loving care will go much further if you stop to fill your own reservoir along the way. On a purely practical level, this card also heralds parenthood for you or someone close to you. The Divine Mother breathes the vital spark into family and fertile productivity, into any important creation endeavor you may be conceiving. Call on her gracious assistance and let her, excuse me, let your creative juices flow. The affirmation for this card says, I choose to increase the tender feelings in my life. As I bring loving care to myself, I expand the energy of love in the world. This is beautiful. I feel like extend it over <laughs> but i'm gonna read a few more okay that was that was great that confirms everything i'm seeing here in the cards let's jump here into the uh, white light oracle okay with the spirit of the bear and let's see what that is saying i always get a virgo energy with the spirit of the bear i get a very nurturing energy with that okay the energy of wheat okay the energy of harvest and i believe that that is what this is with this form of abundance coming in all throughout this reading and this energy of miracles and alchemy this is beautiful this is magic confirmation with the ding right there okay now the spirit of bear 396 hertz it says you are being healed from guilt and fear such emotions will no longer steal your personal power or dissuade you from confidence happiness and realizing your own worth no matter how unlikely it may seem you are going to emerge from a spiritual winner into life light and life the divinely ordained time for your liberation healing and emergence is much closer than you realize abundant blessings are stirring as shall soon manifest OMG collective. Mm, 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 mm. This is some beautiful energy because you've been putting out some beautiful energy yourself, and this is what's returning to you. This is what you this is what manifestation looks like. This is what it looks like. Soon you're gonna be able to say, This is what it feels like, okay? But maybe that's just it. Let's feel it now and act as if so that we can bring it in even sooner. Let's assist the universe. It says, ivory wish fulfilling crow. You have what you truly want. Such knowledge helps soften and release fear, grasping control and doubt. Have confidence that the universe hears your prayers and is even now leading you into that which you seek. You can take sanctuary within your spiritual connection whenever you need stabilization and protection against the fluctuations of the eternal world. 
no matter what is happening around you, there is a way through the fulfillment of your potential. I love it, you guys. Spirit is definitely with you. Spirit is on board, okay, um, with this direction, with this new um, path that's opening up for you, with these blessings that are coming in for you. Spirit has said yes. Spirit has spoke abundance and prophesied over your life, okay? Now, you need to just be in focus on being in a position of receptivity. With soul retrieval, let's see what Isis has, okay? Deep soul healing with the goddess. It says, Isis, healing goddess, now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval, reclaiming pieces of you lost through trauma, old and new. Soon you will enjoy greater wellness, energy, and power, as well as the opening of gifts and soul abilities you did not know you had okay oh this is drawing me to the capricorn reading that i did not long ago and it's titled something like um something about potential you didn't know you had or unlocking something you didn't know you had i'll try to drop that reading in the description box for those of you that are interested all right so we have initiation Initiation, spiritual testing of Ra and Lady Isis. All right. For some of you guys, I get that the, 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 the test is, are you open? Can you receive? Are you open to receive? Or are you bitter and closed off? It's like that type of energy is what I'm getting. But let's see. It says, when you are being spiritually initiated into the mysteries of light, love and power there are moments of deep challenge that the key is to find the light within the challenge the learning growth or wisdom that can be summoned to turn the challenge into an opportunity for healing whilst the scorching heat of Ra seeks to burn through any resistance the lady isis with compassion and cleverness will protect you from burning and instead enable you to be nourished and grow from the light of Ra. Let Isis help you pass the test of intense growth as you strive with new life. Yes, because spirit is now pushing you into a new direction. For some, I get the energy of like, you have mastered one side of your family's ancestral lineage, lineage, their history, their um, spiritual practices, like you get it fully, all right? Like you get it 1000%. But now spirit is like, but you have two parents. So now it's time for you to tap into the energy of the other parent, okay? And that's basically what's going on. You're now going to be with the Palladian energy, with this, this next phase of healing for you, this next partnership that's coming in. You're going to be pushed into okay um receiving downloads and information and training and knowledge and wisdom but from a higher source okay it's giving me that you're like you're tapping into a different you're tapping into a different realm or dimension okay it's nothing to be afraid of collective excuse the table shake okay now spirit is drawing me into the out alkyne or alkyne so let's go there wow and i already turned to that page that's dope okay so this card, it says the card of Alkine arrives when a time of ripe possibility and co-creation is upon you. All paths you walk upon turn to gold with your crystal clear intentions that alchemize all lower distractions. This card signals that the universe is saying go and giving you a green light to accomplish all your dreams and visions. Now is a time where your life choices can empower your life dramatically. Pay attention to any fears that attempt to sway you in other directions and know that you reside in an attraction-based universe where your motives are duplicated and energy received. Therefore, seek what brings you the greatest 
joy and fulfillment knowing that it too will be the byproduct of your entire endeavor open to the light of glorious alkyne and merge with your crystal clear vision you are this source you are this light the creation templates seek you mm. additional meanings for this card are go for it abundance prosperity choice follow your bliss new path, new opportunities, travel. You guys, it's all here for you. Are you ready? I'm hearing, are you ready to learn to fall in love? Whoa, I'm going to have to drop that song in the description box because Sacred Union did show up, you guys. Sacred Union did show up. I skipped right over it because I feel like this is a partnership that you're coming in in alignment with, with spirit, with a new dimension, with higher up ancestors, okay? With higher um, uh, bloodlines, okay? Uh, with your other bloodlines, okay? Um, but there very possibly could be a lover dub situation, okay? Coming in for you, collective, with twin flames showing up, soul partner, eternal connection. Um, I feel that this is the test. Is the test is can you accept this love this spirit is about to bring into your life, or are you going to self sabotage? Are you going to revert back to the past? Are you going to turn this away? Are you going to to tear and, and and nitpick every portion of this new person or new energy coming into your life apart to where they don't even stand a chance or they don't even want to do you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's, it's something like that let's see what lightning boy is with angel number 33 i feel like 33 is out here twice where is it spirit show me clearly where did i see it right there freedom is yours so this is going to be more about this freedom let's see though so lightning boy okay i'm hearing that song i'm a star boy i'm gonna have to drop that in the description box too by the weekend i'm like a star boy Mm, mm, mm. that's Aquarius energy coming through okay there could be an Aquarius pushing through okay or just the energy of Aquarius which is a very futuristic thought it's the energy of the star right well the star is actually one moment the star it represents happiness hope light okay good fortune all right so there's something that's coming through collective it's going to fulfill you make you very happy it's going to help you heal all right now it says hmm let me find out where i want to start with this one so the i'm going to read the additional meanings for this card it says patience rest recharge Take your time, divine timing, wait, and changes. Now, that's interesting because what I said earlier um, about the energy of the seahorse, right? And we have the horse spirit out here, but the energy of the seahorse says watch and wait. So here is that energy coming through. There's something that spirit's going to reveal to you. Ooh, this could take place in your dream time or in some type of astral travel, okay? You're going to connect, and it's going to heal you. Whatever you're connecting with, it's going to bring you some healing on a soul level. It's going to restore you, okay? So there, it's giving me ceremony vibes, okay? All right? Um, there's going to be a ceremony, okay? Um, now, I do want to read this one sorry guys i'm a little all over just a little bit not really though now just hang with me but i want to read nana buluk okay which was angel number one okay it's the aries energy right there the angel number one ones are about the self self-reflection all right so it says the goddess of seasons be mean okay now she says temp she's from the temple the threshold guardians 
the element of air, all right? She says, Nanabuluku is the most high supreme being, primordial, primordial, oh my goodness, prim, I can't even say it, primordial mother, God, uh uh, grandmother of all the Orishas or deities and Dahamis, wise women, herbalist, and healer. It says, you have entered a new cycle that is very old. What? How is that possible? She said, you have entered a new cycle that is very old. Okay, so you're tapping into some ancient ancestral lineages, the higher ups, like I was saying. It says, allow yourself to become present. Trust in divine timing. Don't be shy. I mean, don't be in such a hurry. There is no shortcuts here. Okay. Are you ready for a new beginning? You are in or entering a new season that will force you to evolve. This is a time of major transition. You are not stuck. You are holding on to the past. You are holding on to old patterns. Change can be terrifying. Allow yourself to be mentored. When you choose a new path, you are ripe for your for self-sabotage. A commitment test from the universe may pop up to delay this new pathway. Stay the course. Your time is now. Goddess declaration, I am limitless. Okay. And then with self-sabotaging popping up there, you guys, don't be scared to come into this partnership with your ancestors. Don't, don't fear coming into partnership with your ancestors, period. Go with the flow. That's what they want. They want you to go with the flow. They want you to let go and rest. They want you to manifest. Go with the flow at this time of your ancestors. Be sure you're taking time out to tune and tap into your ancestors, to your angels, to your guides, to receive the guidance and the downloads that you need, okay? Let me go back with dream time to the Palladium deck because this is how this is going to come through, all right? This is how this um, connection, uh, this information, this healing, this is how this is going to come through for you. So, it says, we, your Palladian family, okay, they seek to commune with you on your particular life mission, often broadcasting to our earth family via dreams from other realms. These codes in your sleep are specifically placed to provide hints and guidance for your life path on earth. We truly understand how earth can be a daunting place where the soul can sometimes gain amnesia and forget about its origin originally sent purpose it is therefore in the dream time state where we are able to reach one and rethread you back the multi-dimensional fields that remind you of your sacred purpose this dream time card arrives when the field of dream time is being used to broadcast messages from your star family to yourself the dream field is a great place to train oneself into the multi-dimensional awareness of your now and future earth in addition many of our earth friends have observed that they have had galactic encounters with star family when in between the state of sleep and being awake. This middle ground provides a bridge-like gateway into multidimensional traveling where other species can commune with the human and send forth higher star knowledge. Being excuse me, begin to pay attention to your dreams at night. If we are broadcasting important messages when remembered, attempt to write them down in order to facilitate for your dream memory and be grounded into your reality, okay? Spirit's definitely gonna come through with some messages in dream time. Also, this could be in astral travel and also this could be in meditation is what I'm hearing, okay? Additional meanings for this card. are change in life path, star guidance, life mission revealed, 
reawakening multi-dimensional training and what dreams have i had lately astral travel okay so be sure to be paying attention at that time at this time especially with journal coming out okay it says when you need to get ideas and emotions out write them down holding in thoughts and emotions can cause uh, the energy to become stagnant in your body. Let the energy out and let it flow, okay? There's something you need to say to someone. There could be something you're needing to get off your chest or release to somebody, okay? Rock the mantra. How are you feeling right now? Repe repeat the words. I rock 20 times with conviction. I rock, I rock, I rock. Notice the energetic change. Gratitude. Write a list of 10 things you are grateful for. Feel the gratitude. Hold that feeling in your body and then start to notice more things to be grateful for. Make it a daily practice. Gratitude attracts more to be grateful for. This is beautiful. You're definitely doing that with alchemy here and all this abundance of miracles showing up for you, this wealth and plenty. Okay, um, honey. You, you're doing something right here, okay? You're doing something right, Collective, and I applaud you, okay? Congratulations. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. I feel like the greatest and the best is yet to come. Keep going, okay? Be open to this new connection or this new partnership that Spirit is about to bring in your direction because it's going to bring you massive healing, okay? Massive power, all right? It's going to free you of any delusion, of any past traumas and hurts and pains, any past life um, generational curses, okay? You're breaking free, collective. This is great energy to be in. I hope you have enjoyed the second part of this reading. If you have, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye!